Are you looking for a unique and effective way to improve your health? Look no further than hanging from a bar. It's a simple exercise that can work wonders for your strength, flexibility, and overall wellness. Be sure you hang around for the entire video because in this video, we'll show you how to get the maximum benefits from hanging and how to get started. And we will also tell you who should not be doing this exercise. So grab a bar and get ready to transform your health. You might be wondering, what kind of benefits can someone expect from such a seemingly simple exercise? Here are just a few. Improving posture. Hanging from a bar can help improve your posture by strengthening the muscles in your back, shoulders, and arms. This can lead to better alignment and a more confident stance. Relieving back pain. By decompressing the spine and stretching the back muscles, hanging can provide relief from back pain and stiffness. Increasing grip strength. Hanging requires you to grip the bar, which can help improve your grip strength. This can be especially beneficial for athletes and those who participate in sports that require a strong grip. Strengthening the shoulders. The shoulders are one of the primary muscles used when hanging, which can lead to improved strength and stability in this area. It aids in your ability to do pull-ups. If you're struggling with pull-ups, hanging can be a crucial first step in progressing to being able to perform pull-ups. Some of the main muscles that are utilized during a passive hang include the lats, the teres major, which is connected to the scapula, and the forearm muscles, including the brachial radialis, flexor carpi radialis, and flexor carpi ulnaris, as well as the shoulder girdle muscles, such as the trapezius, rhomboids, and serratus, which contribute to stabilizing the shoulder blades and maintaining proper posture during the exercise. The core muscles, including the rectus abdominis and obliques, also play a role in stabilizing the torso. Hanging can be divided into two general categories. The first is known as the passive passive hang, and the second is commonly referred to as the active hang. Let's start with the basics of how to perform the passive hang exercise. The passive hang involves simply hanging from the bar with your arms fully extended. It is a simple yet effective exercise that helps you stretch your entire upper body and improve your posture. Here's how to perform a passive hang. Stand facing the bar and reach up to grab it with both hands using the overhand grip position and utilizing your thumbs as well. Make sure your grip is wide enough so that your hands are just outside your shoulders. Take a deep breath and relax your entire body. Focus on letting all the tension release from your shoulders, arms, and back. Keep your head and neck aligned in a straight up position and don't allow your head to bob forward past your shoulders. You should also keep your legs straight with your knees slightly bent. Keep your arms straight and hold the bar for as long as you can. Start with 15 to 30 seconds and gradually increase the duration as you get stronger. Using improper form when hanging from a bar is the most common error people make. Inadequate form can cause a variety of issues, such as wrist and shoulder pain, as well as a reduction in the exercise's positive effects. If you're hanging from a bar, be sure to avoid the following typical form errors. Hanging with a rounded spine. It's crucial to maintain a straight spine while hanging and to prevent hunching or rounding your back. This can lessen the benefits of the workout and put undue strain on your spine. Overgripping the bar. Overgripping, which basically means exerting more grip strength than is necessary can place too much strain on your hands, wrists, and forearms, which can cause pain and injury. You must maintain a relaxed, natural grip on the bar and refrain from overgripping it. Shrugging your shoulders. Avoid shrugging your shoulders when hanging by keeping them relaxed and away from your ears. Shrugging your shoulders can cause strain and tension in your neck and shoulders and prevent you from attaining the maximum benefits from the exercise. Keep your elbows straight but not locked. Allow gravity to let them straighten naturally and do not allow the elbows to bend during the exercise. Not breathing properly. To get the most out of hanging from a bar, adequate breathing is essential. To assist you in keeping good form and sharpen your focus, remember to take deep breaths while inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Before we move on, if you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us and it is very much appreciated. Now let's cover how to perform some active hanging exercises. The active hang involves engaging the muscles in your arms, back, and shoulders to maintain your position on the bar. This can provide a more challenging workout and help improve your strength and stability since the active hang works your upper body, core, and grip strength. Begin by assuming the passive hang position as previously instructed. Engage your shoulder blades and pull them down towards your hips. This will activate your back muscles and help stabilize your shoulders, causing your shoulders to rotate outward. Recruit your core by pulling your belly button towards your spine, but not sucking it in. This will help keep your body in a straight line. 
You can also perform the active hang by slightly pulling your feet and legs up towards the front of your body. To achieve the proper posterior tilt of your pelvis, visualize on pulling your navel towards your face as you are raising your legs and at the same time tighten and contract your buttock muscles as well. Remember to breathe properly throughout the exercise and avoid swinging or using momentum to cheat the movement. The goal is to hang with proper form and build strength in your back, shoulders, and core. Hold this position for as long as you can, aiming for 10 to 30 seconds. Release the bar and rest for a few seconds before repeating for three to five sets. There are many variations of the active hang that you can try as your strength progresses and you're ready to challenge yourself even more. You can also try incorporating different grip formations into your hanging exercises. A word of caution when it comes to the hanging exercises. Hanging can put strain on the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and back. It's important to start slowly and progress gradually, using proper form to minimize the risk of injury. Hanging may not be suitable for individuals with certain medical conditions, such as shoulder injuries, rotator cuff issues, or wrist pain. That's why it's always a good idea to consult with a doctor before starting a new exercise regimen. Now check out this video. Thanks for watching.